Hi everyone, Mark here with the Sanderson Collector Channel, and I've got a very exciting unboxing today. I've got a book here that was shipped to me from New Jersey, but originally from the United Kingdom that I've been excited to open for a long time, or to, excited to get for my collection for a long time, and it's finally here and I can't wait to open it up, so let's get to it. So here it is, and... Ah, they got it in a nice good box, nicely packed up, taped, and secure, which is great because sometimes I'll get books with packing that is insufficient and they get damaged, and this one, uh, which is a hardcover of Legion and the Emperor's Soul as a bind-up, is supposed to be in new condition and first printing and all that nice stuff, so hopefully it was... Um, shipped correctly, which it looks like it was. All right, so let's get this open. And there it is. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And they even bubble wrapped it for me. It's great. So pretty. Yeah, so really pretty cover art on this one by Sam Green, who does the illustrations for all of Brandon's UK covers. This illustration is obviously for Legion, because you can see Legion himself and his various aspects in the background. Although I'm not the biggest fan of this cover art because it doesn't show a lot of the variety of his aspects that you get with some of the other cover arts, but it's still cool. I have no idea why there's a sword in the middle of the picture. Um, that doesn't factor into the story at all, but a yeah, very nice book, a very nice edition. They've got the wrapping on the dust jacket to keep it safe, and everything looks pristine, and <gasps> it's first printing, too. You can see right here on the number line, got the full number line. So yeah, it's a first printing, which is what they had said in the listing for the book, but you can't always trust those. But it is, and it's in great condition, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, so I'm very happy about that. And ooh, the spine is beautiful too. Have a look at that. They've got all the fancy lettering and everything on the spine. I love it when they make sure to include the little details like that, even under the dust jacket. So yeah. Very pretty edition of a bind up that I had had trouble getting for a while and finally found and bought and looks really nice. So I've had a chance to look through this one a little bit and there's a couple things I want to show you all about this edition. So the first thing I noticed is that there's no art like there is in the original US edition for some of the chapters. So for example, Emperor's Soul chapter 5, it just goes straight from the previous chapter into chapter 5, whereas the original, um, the U.S. original hardcover and paperback, when it goes into chapter 5, it's got this pretty little art over here, just representing, I guess, the Empire. And I thought that was really cool, and it's a little sad to see that it's not in this edition. Now, if you do want a UK edition with art, I'd recommend getting Arcanum Unbounded, which has Emperor's Soul and a bunch of others. And for all of the chapters, it has this super cool Soul Stamp art, which you may have seen before somewhere, um, which is super cool. So if you want a UK copy of Emperor's Soul just for reading, I would recommend getting Arcanum Unbounded. And if you want a copy of Legion for reading, I recommend getting the bind-up that's coming out later this year with all three Legion novellas. It's probably going to be the most widely available one and easiest to find. I only recommend getting this one if you are specifically collecting the UK hardcovers and editions. This one will probably run you 50 to 70 bucks online to get a copy. And like I said, it only has those two novellas in it and it doesn't have the new art. One other thing I noticed, which is a little confusing, is at the top of every page, it just says Legion and the Emperor's Soul, 
it doesn't specify which novella you're reading, so it can be a little confusing to try to flip through and figure out which one comes first and where you are in the novellas. Other than that, it's still an absolutely beautiful book, and my copy is in pristine condition, so I'm very happy to have this and be able to add it to my collection. So that's the book. I am very happy to add this to my collection. I've been trying to collect all of the UK hardcover editions for a while now, and this is the second to last one that I needed. The only one remaining that I need to collect is the Way of Kings hardcover, which is going to be even more difficult to find. If you know where I can find one of those, please leave a comment and let me know. And so I guess all that's left to do now is put it on the shelf.